Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sam and I would love to have you guys subscribe so you won't miss out on any new videos. So today I'm super, super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys perfumes that get me so many compliments, my top, my most complimented perfumes. There you go. I'm so bad at wording things right off the bat. I always come up with my titles after. But I recently did pick up a couple new perfumes that I'm super excited to share with you guys and these perfumes seriously make people go crazy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first perfume I have to share with you guys is one that was my first luxury perfume that I've ever bought for myself and this is Burberry Her. I feel like this is such a classic perfume and everyone I feel like has either smelled this, knows someone who has this, or owns this, you know? This perfume is so good. I try not to use it super super often because it's it's my baby. Like I feel like I will literally collect this bottle till the day I die because it just it reminds me of like YouTube and just everything super fun. The actual scent of this is so so good. People say that this is a dupe for or Cloud by Ariana Grande is a dupe for Burberry Her and I could smell similar vibes. I do have Cloud by Ariana Grande but this one is just a million times more long lasting of course. I mean this is pretty pricey and also I just smell a little more mature woman vibes from this. It smells like a gourmand with a little bit of floral in here. It smells so so good. I think that the lasting power is out of this world. You seriously do not need a lot of sprays. I do too and it lasts me eight hours of my work day. I get so many compliments when I wear this. People literally are like, what are you wearing? It smells so so good. And I always tell them Burberry Her. Um, also, I think the packaging super, super cute. Like, it's very simple, but I think it looks super cute on, like, your little vanity or your nightstand. I think it looks adorable. So, this is the first one. The next one I have is actually one that's super, super affordable. And you guys know I love to include affordable um, products because, I mean, I totally understand not everyone wants to spend $100 on a fragrance. So, this is David Off Cool Water. This is a women's perfume. And this is super, super good. I bought this, like, or I think my mom gave it to me like a couple years ago. And I just absolutely love it. I mean, I know I haven't worn it in a little while, but when I do, it is an ultimate complicated compliment getter and if you are someone who loves aquatic fresh fragrances this is the one for you you can find this at marshall's or tj maxx i've seen it for like 14 dollars, i believe so it's super inexpensive it just smells so refreshing and it smells very aquatic it kind of reminds me of aqua kiss but this one is also very very long lasting and potent for how cheap it was like i Literally only put like two or three sprays of this and again it lasts me all day. I think this is great for someone who doesn't like gourmand scents or like super floral scents. This is a perfect in between. I think anyone would like this if you like like fresh fragrances. So yeah. Another perfume I have is Ariana Grande or Ari by Ariana Grande. I always get this one confused. First off, the packaging is adorable. I always love a good, cute packaging. I think it just makes, you know, the perfume stand out a little more. Sometimes this puff does get in the way and it's annoying. But this fragrance you can find, again, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I believe I got this for a pretty good price off of Walgreens. And people have also told me they found it at, like, Marshalls and stuff. This one... It does not smell anything like her other perfumes. Like some of her perfumes like Sweet Like Candy and Thank You Next are a little too like childlike for me. I don't mean that in a negative way but it's just a little too childlike. However, Ari by Ariana Grande has a musky sort of like womanly mature scent to it. And it's a little bit floral but there's a teeny bit of sweetness in there as well. It's nothing too too sweet and it's not super musky either. This is great for someone who's a little more girly but they want to elevate their fragrance to be a little bit more mature and woman-like. I totally get that. This is I think the one ounce and I've used a good amount of this for how long I've had it. I think I've had it for like four months and I've used a lot of it. I like to mix this with um, Velvet Petals and it smells super super good. I put that in my fragrance combinations video and you guys seem to love it. 
Um, the lasting power, I wouldn't say is like anything crazy. I would say it lasts like five, six hours, but I do spray a lot of this on because it's not as potent as the previous perfumes that I've shown you guys. So yes, I think this is great. People always compliment me and I think this is one that's very, very neutral. It's great for work because it's nothing too strong, but it's nothing like you can't smell it at all. Next perfume is actually a mini that I have. This is the Replica by um, Mason Margiela in Bubble Bath. And Mason Margiela or Replica perfumes are super, super pricey. So I think I got this in a little gift set from Sephora, like their perfume samplers. And you can take it like a free full-size travel size like perfume out of it. And I chose Bubble Bath because I always wanted a Replica perfume. I know my girl Natalie Grace loves this perfume. And honestly, I... I think I got this before she talked about it and when I smelt it I was like oh my god Natalie Grace would totally love this so so much because this is just so up her alley and I feel like me and her have similar um fragrance picks <laughs> we like the same fragrances this is just a very clean scent okay you know those tiktok videos on how to get the clean look this is what I envision those girls wearing because it just smells like a bubble bath in a weird way like it doesn't smell super soapy but you do get a soapy note to it it smells amazing and again these perfumes last a really long time I haven't used like a ton of it because they're very potent and what I love about the replica travel size is that they're not roller balls I don't really like roller balls too much to be honest you guys this one is a spray so you can just kind of like spray it on yourself which makes it way nicer so I love to keep this in my purse I get a lot of compliments. People always tell me I smell super fresh. Like, they always say that I smell like my laundry smells really good, but I think it's just because it smells like a clean fragrance. People assume that it's my clothes or like my detergent that smells like that, but it definitely doesn't have like a linen note in here. Another perfume I have is one from Dossier, and this is not sponsored. They did send me this a while ago, but I've worn this a lot and people always compliment me. This is Gourmand White Flowers and I believe this one is the dupe for the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm, which I absolutely love. And people actually assumed that this was Flower Balm. My coworker who's super, super into fragrance as well, like perfumes especially, she was like, are you wearing Flower Balm? And I was like, no, it's this one that's a dupe. So that's how you know it's really, really good. This is also very long lasting. I think it smells, it says, top notes are bergamot, green tea, freesia, berries, middle notes are white flower, orchid, rose, base notes are musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. I can definitely smell the patchouli in here and also that floral note. So it's like a floral, patchouli, musky kind of scent. Kind of reminds me a teeny bit of like into the night in a way, but a little sweeter. So. Yeah, you can find this on Dossier if you guys want to check it out, but again, this video isn't sponsored. I just really, really like their perfumes. Speaking of Victor and Rolf, I really wanted to show this video or show this fragrance in this video because I recently picked it up. This is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. So this is not their regular original flower bomb. I think it's like a flanker or like a, like a, I don't know, like a sister to Flower Bomb. So I saw this and my boyfriend actually got me this, so thank you. Um, it looks like this. I thought this one smelled honestly better than Flower Bomb. It has more of like a sweeter note to it and not as florally because sometimes Flower Bomb can be a little bit too florally for me on the everyday. I definitely have to be in the mood to want to wear it. However, the Ru the Orchid one, I think, the Ruby Orchid one smells so much more sweeter and I love that more about it because it's like the perfect combination of sweetness and floral. And I just love this fragrance. Oh, I want the full size so bad, but I picked up the mini travel size because I just have scents for days. I need to use up some of my perfumes first and then I will go ahead and pick up another full size. That's kind of what I've been trying to do. So yeah, I do recommend this. Give it a smell. I'm not sure if it's super new or not because it was like... On display in the front but I love this and I'm gonna make this my new everyday fragrance last but not least I have Rihanna Rebel Fleur this gets me so many compliments you guys 
and I was honestly really surprised because this was $9.99 at Ross and I wasn't really expecting much out of it. I was honestly expecting to not love it as much but people love this fragrance. It has a very strong patchouli note so I don't know if people around me just really love patchouli or what it is because I'm not the biggest fan of patchouli. It's not my favorite fragrance note. I know people love that kind of scent but this smell smells like a girl's night out. Like a nice dinner, a nice day, a girls night out, you're going to the bar, you're going to a fancy like work dinner, something like that. It smells like, I mean I still wear this during the daytime but yeah the smell is super musky. It kind of reminds me of Little Black Party Dress so if you have that I mean I feel like you don't have to go out and like purchase this. However this stuff is super super long lasting and strong. I need Rihanna to make more perfumes. Like can we bring back celebrity perfumes because I love celebrity perfumes so so much but you can find this at Ross, TJ Maxx, um, Marshalls for like $9.99 and this one is a one fluid ounce and I'm like halfway done with it so yes. Alright you guys so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my favorite perfumes and my top complimented or my most complimented perfumes. I love you guys so so much. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. I'm not sure when I'll be posting this but if it's after Christmas I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and yeah I'll see you guys next time. Bye!